Grouping and bussing allow us to take more control of our mix. Grouping is a fairly common feature of digital audio workstations, while bussing is a feature that is normally found on hardware consoles. Both of these features are readily available within Mixbus. One advantage of grouping is session organization. We can create, edit, or mix groups that share common functions. Range editing, fader level, solo, mute, even bus assignments. Bussing is set up using the eight mix buses. They enable us to send instruments or groups of instruments into a premix before going to the master bus. Bussing allows for more efficient processing. It's much less taxing on our CPU for a number of tracks to share a common plugin versus each having their own. The mix buses allow me to add EQ, compression, and tape saturation across the bus tracks. Here's how we go about setting everything up. Click on the Edit Group tab to the right of the Edit window and click on the plus icon to add a new edit group. I'm going to use this one for my drums. Now we can click the G button on each channel to assign them to a desired group. Mix groups are set up just about the same way. The group selection buttons are instead located at the bottom of the channel strips. To set up bussing in your mix, turn on the appropriate sends of your desired tracks. This can be done rather quickly if we are bussing a previously created mix group because bus assignments can be made collectively. Let me send some ungrouped tracks, in this case the guitars, to the second mix bus. Notice that if I hold command while selecting the sends, each channel's master send is simultaneously disabled. Each mix bus already has a master send enabled by default. We don't need the channels that are being sent to these mix buses to be sent to the master as well. We can also hold Command and Shift as we click to send all of our tracks in the session to a desired mix bus. For example, let's use mix bus 4 for our reverb. Since I want all of my tracks to have at least some amount of reverb in them, I can hold Command and Shift while I make a bus assignment to use this time-saving feature. After you have finished bussing all of the tracks for your session, don't forget to name your mix buses accordingly.